Hey guys, this is Troy Jackson, and for the fourth video, we're going to be looking at uh, autism. And when, as I was looking through the book, and I found the strategy just really stuck out to me, and it's uh, it's called social stories. And I never heard of this before, uh, but basically, it, it bases itself around the idea that uh, students with autism sometimes have a hard time recognizing uh, social situations; they don't understand some of the social, uh, behavioral, or environmental cues that come in the social situation. And so a social story is basically uh, just a, it's a, it's a quick little story uh, used in order to help an individual uh, recognize uh, certain uh, awarenesses in social situations. Um, so, for example, in the book, uh, there's a quick story. Um, I've actually got it right here. Uh, it says, I like to run. It's fun to go fast. It's okay to run when I'm playing outside. I can run when I'm on the playground. I can run during PE. It is not okay to run when I'm inside, especially at school. Running in the hallways is not safe. Teachers worry that someone may get hurt if I run into them. When people are inside, they walk. I will try to walk in the hallways and only run when I'm outside on the playground. And so there you go, just as simple as that, a quick quick story that a student reads. And um, it's not something they'll just read one time. You, know, you give it to your student and you have them read it once, maybe once a day. And as they start to recognize and become more aware of that situation, you can slowly back off. But at first, uh, it's important uh, to, really, uh, to really let them know the importance of, of some of these social situations and work with them to understand uh, what it is you're trying to get them to do or to know. Um, so uh, a few things about presenting these social stories, uh, depending on what age group you have, um, if you're working with younger kids, maybe it's best to um, present this story, you know, with, with uh, some pictures, um, bigger fonts, uh, smaller words, uh, different things like that. Um, older students, they, you know, you might be able to just present that on one page. But I think this is something you could use for a lot of different age groups. Um, and you could definitely change that up to, to fit, uh, what your students' needs are and, uh, their age group. But I believe, uh, social story is definitely a good thing to keep in mind, a good thing to use, and, uh, hopefully it can help you out.